If your consciousness is weak, uh, you always have defined consciousness. You always have evil consciousness. Consciousness is weak. But if your consciousness, is, if your consciousness is weak, your full body is weak. What do I mean by that? Your consciousness is weak is defined. Weak. Think if someone, uh, someone uh, is offering something of an idol, or something, maybe anything. Maybe, maybe you know, no, no, things are violent. Maybe if you go to a restaurant or something, maybe someone is eating pork and you, and you, you don't like it. Or maybe you might be thinking a lot of things. If, if your conscience is if your conscience says uh, it's not good, you should not eat it. If your conscience says uh, it is not good, you should not eat it. But if, but if you are not, not conscious about it, telling uh, I can eat anything, so you you, you just bless it and eat it. You know, by many times we say grace before men. But whenever you give something thanksgiving to God, nothing is going to get condemned. Whatever food you eat, when you give a thanksgiving to God, it is never going to get condemned. The food is never going to get effective whenever you give a thanksgiving to God. So we always say grace before men. Why we say grace before men? I don't know whether people say or not, but many times people say grace before men. Because whenever you give something thanks in, 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 the, in the name of Jesus, nothing is going to affect you about it. Nothing is going to affect you about it. But if you are conscious, oh, it, it spoke, I should not touch it. Oh, this is something of the island, I should not touch it. Then, then don't touch it. But if, 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 if your consciousness is not about the sin conscious, if you, if you know, if you feel, okay, nothing is going to happen to me, nothing is going to happen to you. This depends upon your conscience. If your consciousness is big, the full body is big. But if your consciousness is strong, nothing can touch you, nothing can affect you. Then I want to say, your, your consciousness should be Jesus conscious. Whenever you have a Jesus conscious, it's a very strong conscious. It's not a weak conscious. Many times, uh, you know, the old decision the, the, the which needs to offer sacrifice again and again, again and again, again and again. But this sacrifice could never take away the sins of the people. But Jesus, once and for all, he took the sins of the world. The world of God said, this is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. He, has, he took once and for all the sins of everybody. And he made us each and everybody perfect. So today we are a high priest today. He has, he has made us a royal priest. When I say the word royal priest, that means we have a double power. What do I mean by a double power? You, are a, you, are, you have a kingly power as well as you have a priestly power. You know, whenever a priest says something, it is done. Whenever a priest said this food is defined, so it was defined. Then whenever a priest said, when a priest said this food is not defined, it was not defined. So you have the power in your mouth. Whatever you command, you will, you will eat it. If you think, uh, if you think, okay, I can eat it, you just come on in the mouth and eat it. Don't be, don't be a silly person thinking, hey, what will happen if I eat it? Or what, will, what will not happen if I eat it? This is a sin conscious. This is a human conscious. It's very bad. You should not think that if, if you are going to eat, you just eat it. Khatam. If you eat it, everything is over. Nothing is going to affect you. What do you think? I ate it. <coughs> Nothing is going to happen to me. Oh, I should not have eaten it. When, 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 you, when you think of all these things, you are being a sin conscious person. When you are sin conscious, that gives the devil an interest into your life. That gives the devil to assess your life. That gives the devil to make you put down. That gives the devil to make you feel more and more content. And that makes a content person fall, fall to lay down. Similarly, I, I think in the beginning I told you about the story about the guy who died from an accident. You know, always this guy was being frustrated. Just because there was a making of remembrance of everything. In the Old Testament, there's a remembrance of sins. Every year there's a remembrance. In, in, in the New Testament, when God says, I will no longer remember their sins. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, wickedness, the un, the unrighteous, I am never ever going to remember it. God is never going to remember it. So who are we to remember? The old testament there was a remembrance of sin every year. Everybody should make a remembrance of sin every year. If, if, if you think you have to remember your sins every day, think you, you are living in, 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 in the old testament. Every day if you think I have to say sorry to God. Everything yeah, every day, if every second if you say sorry to God. This person, I don't know how much longer you continue to eat. They go on continuing sorry God, sorry God, sorry God. I don't know how much time you say sorry God. If you're more, if you're more the time you say sorry God, that means you are sin conscious. Every time you are thinking of a sin, I have done this wrong. Oh, I have done this wrong. Oh, I have done this wrong. Oh, how what to do? Every time you are sin conscious, you will go on doing more and more sins. You will go on doing more and more sins. And, and if you do, if you are more and more sin conscious, you will get more and more condemned. And if you, once you are condemned, the devil is got you. But when there is condemnation, the grace will not flow over them. Uh, let me tell you one second, where there is condemnation, where there is condemnation, it's very difficult for our grace to come over there. Okay, when you are condemned, you always think of condemnation, God. but once when the grace enters, you will have no more condemnation. I want you also, you move the condemnation out of your life, grace will start to flow into your life. Never get condemned before God, never get condemned. Maybe you might have a deep tea habit, you might have tried everything to do it. But one thing I want to say, when, when God condemns sin in the flesh, sin can never no longer condemn you. No sin in the world can condemn you. Not even any sin in it which is created or which is there can ever condemn you. I want to say, the, the, the blood which washes you is greater than every sin which ever people have committed in the world. 
The blood which washes everybody, the blood of Jesus which washes everybody, is greater than every sin or everything whatever human has done till today. Right now, also, if any human has done something wrong, the blood of Jesus is much more stronger, it's much more powerful, it's much more grateful to forgive your sins forever. When God has said, when God Jesus has died for you, He died for your past sins, your present sins, and your future sins. <coughs> when God has paid a price for you, He has paid a price in full. He, he cannot pay it once again. You cannot pay it once again. You know, the, in the book of uh, Titus, uh, the book of Titus, uh, let's go to the book of Titus, chapter, chapter 1, verse 15. The word of God says over here, Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But even their minds and consciences are defiled. For the pure, everything is pure. For the defiled, everything is defiled. If you think you, if you, think you, you, uh, you, 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 you have been purified by His blood, if you are made pure, everything is pure for you. If you think you, you are undefiled, then everything is undefiled for you. Undefiled means uh, everything evil or something, something wrong. If you think, if you, think you, have the, uh, you, you are pure, that means you are pure. What do you think in your heart so you are because of God? That's why I want to say that you, you should be righteous conscious. You should be GS conscious. You should be, uh, you should be righteous conscious. You should be GS conscious only. The full day, whenever you get up, you just think about Jesus. That makes you to be a stronger person. When you are more into Jesus' presence, you will fall out of sin you. When you fall in love with Jesus, you will fall out of sin with you. When you fall in love with Jesus, you will fall automatically out of sin. You know, don't think anything can, uh, the sin will overtake you anything. No sin can overtake you. Because you are under grace. When, when you are under law, no, you, the, the, the sin could have overtaken you because you are under the whole nature. The people of God are right now also just thank you. Just, just say this thing to you. That you are under a new nature. We have a new nature of God upon you. This nature is never going to get defined. It's a new nature which God has given to us. We are living in this new day nature. No, I want to say this thing. God condemns it in the flesh. It's never going to get, uh, the sin is never going to get condemned once again. God has condemned something. God not only dealt with your own nature sin, but at the same time, God even dealt with the actions of sin. He has condemned the sin in the flesh. He is never ever going to 